speaking that's all right <coughs> I need a new phone my phone's very shitty are going to take place right here right now on this card the other five matches will take place shortly <laughs> you just might be the only one up Quay boss <laughs> as I said I don't know who the hell else is up like me like a fucking idiot but uh I'm used to being up at this time I usually start work at 4 a.m. so even on my off days I can't get this schedule out of my head and then so I'm up I'm awake I'm gonna do a show here before I gotta wake my daughters up for school so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get this one going. Seven matches, five triple threat matches based off the Royal Rumble results. And then I'm doing a show. I'll probably go live. 9.30 is my guess. Or 9. Somewhere between 9 and 9.30 I'll go live and I'll do that show. And it will be the other five matches that need to take place in the triple threats as we build points. Tomorrow, if I can pull off a show, I'm going to pull off a show. But today, I'm doing at least two for sure. That's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to happen. It's fact. If I can do more today, I will. We'll see. Uh, and also, that being said, Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be going live at some point where I will be revealing the full card for Christmas Eve. Now... I gotta double check with my wife what her schedule is Christmas Eve. The show may may even be pushed to a Christmas day. Um, she informed me yesterday that she agreed to work Christmas morning because they don't have no one at her job to cover her area and why the fuck they would need people in her area. She works in a location called the QSR, which makes food and all that good stuff. So it's very confusing for me. <clears throat> but either way, she's gonna be making money. We're going to figure it out. Uh, I don't know. It really sucks because it's Christmas morning. But <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, if she's going to work Christmas morning early, I'm going to end up doing the big show that everybody's been building up towards around this time, Christmas. Which would really suck ass cheeks. So hopefully something on Christmas Eve will work. But I don't think they're going to make her work Christmas Eve and Christmas. But we'll find out. I'm hoping to know that real soon, so I'll be giving you guys the update on the exact time and day for the big show, but Wednesday, which is tomorrow, isn't it, no, today's Monday, this is Monday, yeah. so Wednesday is when I'll be announcing 
all the matches for that big show where we crown our heavyweight champion, our tag team champion, so on and so forth. But let's get to the show as I keep rambling. There comes Duke Whiskey making his way to the ring. Second match will be zero two six. The third match will be zero three nine. It's just gonna keep gaining a point, and then we're gonna multiply it up. The fourth match is zero four twelve. Now, someone asked me, shouldn't I just multiply it? And I'm thinking about doing this zero four and then zero eight. Since you're not being the one pin, you know what? That makes a little more sense. We're gonna keep doubling it. Four. I'm gonna go zero. Nah, we're not gonna do that. It's just gonna be like the big jumps. One, two, three. It's gonna be four. Then it's gonna be five. And then we're just gonna jump everything by three points. Two, three, four, five. That's the five match. Just don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just doing the math over here in my head. <laughs> Making sure I got it right. Zero, six. 18, 0, 7, 21, I love it, 0, 8, 24, 0, 9, 27, 0, 10, 30, there you go, remember everyone who is pinned scores a 0 points, and the guy who's not pinned, he will score the amount of points based off the elimination match, so this is match 1, the winner gets one point. Well, the one who's not pinned gets one point. Match seven. The one who's not pinned, pinned will get seven points. That's how that's going to work. And then each match is going up multiples of three to the winner. Hopefully that made sense. 
I'm not sure who else just joined us, but I appreciate it. As Alex Starr, the man from the 313 Detroit, Michigan, makes his way into the ring. Since it's still early and I want to make sure this show's done and off the air before my daughters wake up for school. Because you know how it is if you're a parent. Get up. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You're going to be late. Get dressed. Did you eat? Did you do your hair? Did you got all your school books? And then you travel check one more time. Did you get all your homework done? You guys don't need to be hearing me doing all that yelling in the background. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here comes Silver. We are just a week away from OCW being done with these crazy off the wall, off the chart matches, triple threats, fatal four ways, rumbles, where we're all over the place. We'll have our rankings, we'll have our standings. And then there we go. And DOA just blew up. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. D. Oh. Hey. Quay Boss, I believe you're still with me. Who else has joined us? Opening contest here, Outlaw Championship Wrestling Showdown, Episode 10. DOA takes a hike, so Dar goes after Silver, putting the boots to him. If you've been following the SLS Gaming Network, you know Alex Dar was the last GWA World Champion. Oh, and DOA just clobbers him. Oh, kick to the back of the dome of Dar. Three points on the line to the winner here. Who will get them? <laughs> it's smart business, Quay Boss. You can't get pinned if you're not in the fight. Let the other two beat each other up and wear each other out. Then you come in and pick up the pieces. Nice shot by Silver. Oh, another clobbering shot. Now Dar's going after him. Now they're both double teaming his ass simply because the one I be as Quay Boss said it a chicken. Now Dar's playing up to the crowd while Silver does all the work. Oh, he gets kicked in the thigh. Big shot by Dar. Where these gentlemen stand are right down the standings. DOA is ranked number 8. Silver is 14. And Alex Dar is 20. So, Dar and Silver are pretty much going to be out of the uh, contendership, if you will, for the top 6 spots with this match. They won't be scoring enough points. Um, and there's a good chance they won't have another match in time for Wednesday's event, our announcements. So, now DOA wouldn't score three points if he wins this. I don't think that's going to be enough to lock him in. Based off the points, Bruce, who is ranked seventh, was 61. So a win here will only put DOA to 60. So not one of these men have an opportunity to make the top six, but that's all right. They have a chance to make a good showing and prove themselves here and climb the rankings some more. Oh, forearm shot by Silver. DOA just takes it and walks away from him. What the hell? Oh, that's huge uppercut. Silver delivers like that. It's crazy. Hey, Dar, wake up. Oh, and he hangs DOA up. We got our five triple threat matches, and we have two tornado tag team matches coming your way on this show. Possible. You never know. Ooh. TOA just chucks Silver to the floor. And there you see it. Bud Light, Jack Daniels, Jose Cuervo, and Budweiser. Proud sponsors of Outlaw Championship Wrestling. They help pay the bills here. That's why their names have been added to the apron. This huge DDT by Dar. for the cover and of course Silver's going to come in there and break it up I was originally going to make these matches tri uh, triple threat eliminations but that takes away from the excitement because uh, like a, a move like that if Dar goes for the pin Silver would have just stood back and said yeah pin him eliminate him but when it's just one fall to the finish you break it up don't let somebody get pinned makes it a little bit more interesting especially when this might be their last chance to score points Oh, big shot. Now 
Josh Silver's waiting for DOA to get to his feet. What's he gonna do to him? He's got him in Tarsus now, bitch. Now he's got DOA. DOA is getting his ass whooped. Dar's been all over him. Silver has been all over him. It's like these two are competing as to who can fuck DOA up more. Ugh. Alex Dar. Now it's Dar can get the win here. He then goes one match over 500. He's currently 3-3. Three and three. If DOA wins here, he can move his record to 500 as he is 3-4. and four. Silver's 2-4, and four, so a win puts him a little closer to getting his record to 500. And that's the crazy thing about this company. I'm looking down the roster. And DOA kicks out. Let's see. Austin Rose, 3-2. and two. Daniel Dino is 3-2. and two. Uh, And they jump there. The only two guys with winning records in the company. That is crazy. I have 30 talents in the singles rankings, plus all forgot as the Texas heavyweight champion. And only two of them have winning records. You're either at 500 or below if you're everybody else. <laughs> that shows you just how tough it's been in OCW and how crazy it is in OCW to get wins and how tough the competition is here. Ah, I, gotta, I gotta say, that's pretty getting awesome. I love it. Oh, big shot by TOA. Silver hit him in the back of the head at the same time. Look at this, DOA. He's, like, he's, like, he's like, yep, yep, just kill him. Silver can take out Dar here. And now immediately DOA should attack Silver. Move there, son. Oh, plants him. Now make a pin. Dar's getting up. Look at this elbow. Wham! Oh, shit. Okay, DOA, I see you. Dar hits the floor. DOA now going after Silver. Goes for the cover. I don't think it's going to be enough. One, two, and a kick out by Silver. Oh, it misses that kick as Silver gets out the way. Look at this. Russian leg sweep. No. Reverse. Reverse RLS there. One. Two. A oh, kick out by DOA. And here comes Dar back into it. Oh. Oh. Good grief. Big DDT by Dar. That might have been enough, but no. DOA springs up. Blocks that forearm shot. Now he's got Dar. Oh my god! Silver tries to cover him. Oh, now a freaking axe handle to Dar. Silver's getting to his feet. And of course he breaks up the pin. I don't know what the hell happened there. What the hell is that? Big splash. DOA, you gotta go after Silver instead of standing there like an idiot. And now you're gonna get yourself caught. Oh, nice bridge. Rolls through. Beautiful suplex by Silver. This could be it. Silver could get the win right here. Big spear by Silver. You can score 12 points in your match, Quavos, with a win. Speed Silver wasting valuable time. Woo! Dar. This is a hell of a match between these three. Back and forth and forth. Back and forth. And back, back, forth, forth. How do you want to say it since there's three guys? You can't just be back and forth. That would be two. And with a cover. One, two, and a kick out by Dar. DOA. He is just gasping for breath right now. Someone get the man an inhaler at this point. Holy hell. Big DDT by Darda Silver and he busts him wide open. Goes for the cover. One. And I'll break up my DOA. Oh, now he gets caught by Dar. Bam! 
right to the pin. One, two, three, and Alex Dar gets the dub. Three points for Dar. Big win for Dar right there. DOA falls to three and five with 57 points. Silver falls to two and five, but he'll score a point going to 49 because he was not the man pinned. So kudos. Man alive. Wow. Alex Starr added his name to the men with winning records now. He's one of three. Darv clearly one of the top guys right now here in the company as far as wins go. But he won't have enough points to make the top six. All right, here's our next contest. It's Feck, a royal powerhouse, and your Texas heavyweight champion, Alfer Gott. Uh, and just a side note here, this is a new a royal powerhouse. Uh, I set it up yesterday, last night, before I went to bed, basically. It was one of the last things I did. It's a new look powerhouse. Um, powerhouse doesn't even know I did this, so when he sees this match, he'll see it for the first time. Uh, Quavo, since you're with me, give me an honest opinion. Uh, all personal feelings aside for powerhouse, in character, out of character, just based off the look alone compared to the current one. Because if you remember the current one, it's the black and, and gold... Uh, purple um, it's still kind of the same look but completely completely different uh, just want honest honest opinions which one you like better and whatever detail you can give me as to why this way I know because like I'm not the greatest at building characters and making talent or the calls or whatnot you know I'm gonna give kudos where kudos go like Pete everybody knows who Pete is Pete makes phenomenal calls and mine usually look like shit <laughs> So, I just like to know what guys think so I know where to improve so I can keep getting better at making them. Like Daniel Dino was mine. I made that one. This is just a basic, simple thing, but that's exactly what he wanted. That's what he was going for. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, all pin, all guys who pinned, again, I'll tell you this again and again and again. I'll sound like a broken record here. Get zero points. The man not pinned in this match will score two points. The winner will receive six points. So it's six points to the winner here. Two points to the loser. And zero points to the man who gets pinned and loses. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes Feck making his way to the ring. Feck desperately needs this win. He is 0-4 in singles competition. Royal Powerhouse is 2-3, and, and All Forgot is 2-2. Two two. So this is a must win for freaking Feck, if, if not anyone else the most needs to get off the schneid here. Here he comes, Royal Powerhouse. Let this play through, get a look. It's the other crown, it's not the big old crown. This is the more simple, classic vintage crown. Not sure about the yellow dim lights, but hey, it is what it is. This is supposed to represent gold since he's royalty. That's what we were going for here. Of course, that robe is gold. Once the lights change, you get a real good look at him. Have an honest, more better opinion on what he looks like. Even the hair color's changed a little bit. There you go. The hair color's not 
that, uh, what was it? More like a yellowy color. This is more, uh, blondish. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your Texas heavyweight champion, Alfer Gott. And in terms of All Forgot, All Forgot will be defending the Texas Heavyweight Championship on Christmas Eve. Everyone's wondering against who. I will have details as to who he will be facing. And that information will be made available to you guys Wednesday. I already know the plan, obviously. And I'll let you guys know Wednesday who it's going to be and how it's going to work. There's Feck. Royal Powerhouse. All forgot. There's your bell. Nice move by Gott. Oh, he backed Powerhouse's ass up. Oh, nice chop. Big right hand. In fact, now goes after Gott, but missed. Powerhouse bounces out of the corner. Big shot. Oof. Big right hands now by Powerhouse to Feck. Go behind. Beautiful move. It's a new move set. New everything for Powerhouse as well. Nice kick. Man, Powerhouse is fast. Ah. Everybody wants to be the man that beat ass. Oh, it went for a clip. Dropped him. Nice armor here to a shoulder tackle. Powerhouse now big European uppercut. Two got Feck hits the floor. Comes the Irish whip's gonna send God all the way to the floor. Powerhouse now going out after the Texas heavyweight champion here. Oh, forearm shot to the face. Nice move by Powerhouse. Feck went right after Powerhouse for some reason instead of going after the Texas heavyweight champion. Fex gonna go after Gott since he's gonna be out there showboat. Nope, changed his mind. Oh boy, he's got Feck up. Wham, plants him. And now Powerhouse gonna play to the crowd and get caught. Oh, face first. So what do you think, Quavos? Damn, look at Gott. Oof. Nice crossbody. And look at this. Holy shit. Just started slamming fists down the base of Feck. God dang almighty. He was a wild man. Oh, big body shot. Oof. Plants Feck. Now God going toward Powerhouse. Puck Powerhouse grabs and misses him. Find oh, big right hand by the champ. And your Texas Heavyweight Champions all over. Royal Powerhouse right now. Oh my god, look at the power. In fact, makes the save. Got tried to pin him right there. Oh, big right hand. Remember, the winner gets six points here. Two to the other man who doesn't get pinned. And now Fat rolls two. He's going to set him up for a suplex. Oh, corkscrew style. Powerhouse crawling to the ropes to try to get up. Got rolls to the floor. Fat going to try and hyperextend the arm here. Ah, oh, that's brutal right there. You can pop the shoulder, you can pop the elbow. Powerhouse in a heap of trouble here. Goes for the pin. You ain't gonna pin Powerhouse with that one. And a kick out at one. Feck should have known better right there. Here comes Gott. Oof. Clearly to me like a Viking warrior, like you just mentioned, your Scandinavian type thing. I would go with that one. And I kick out. I don't. There's definitely no Native American 
uh, in there as far as I know. Oh, what a shot by Feck. And look at God. Oh, God was going to go for it, but he missed it. There's the DDT by Powerhouse. Oh, but God now snags up Powerhouse. Powerhouse out the back door. Beautiful neck breaker. God's rolling out to the floor. Powerhouse now turning his attention towards Feck. We just delivered a DDT. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out by Feck. If you were Royal Powerhouse, you should have done something right there real quick while he was on that mat. Oh, driving elbows now to the dome. Wham! Feck is in trouble. Got trying to get himself together. There's the cover. One, two, the oh, kick out by Feck. And here comes God. Oh, big clothesline. Takes down Powerhouse. One, two, and a kick out by Royal Powerhouse. Look at all for a guy. He's just waiting in the corner as Feck and Powerhouse are both at nap time. Oh, big right hand by Powerhouse. Beautiful belly to back suplex. He rolls through it. Turns him around. Big clothesline. Turned him inside out. Here comes Feck and Powerhouse sees him. Big chop. Big right hands ducked. Oh, kick to the gut by Feck. Oh, Powerhouse with a flying knee. And Feck's going to the floor. Powerhouse now going after all for God. Big right hand. And it's all for, ladies and gentlemen. A couple people think, keep thinking I'm saying all for God. Big power bomb. One, two. Oh, kick out. Boston grabbed his ass. Some people think this is a glitch, and it's really not. As you just saw. <laughs> Got escaped. Sheesh. A pin there overall for God could have made big, big waves for Powerhouse. And now Feck hits Powerhouse. There's the cover. One, two, and he kicks out. Feck can't keep Powerhouse down. Turn your attention now to somebody. Oh, shit. Feck gonna do what he does best, and that's fly, daddy. He's gonna, look at this, beating on his chest has got Powerhouse trying to get to his feet, and Feck's like, you bitch. He got in the way. Big shot by God to Powerhouse, and another one. He's up, and there's a third one. Oh, into the damn freaking zigzag. There's the boot to the gut by Feck. Feck's got him up. Oh, right into an arm bar. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Now he's going to hyperextend his arm, too. No, he's bending back the arm and the fingers. Look at this. Oh, it just does it ever so slowly. The brutality of that move. Feck now climbing to the top rope. He could get the W if he hits this. What's he got in his tricks here? What's in the bag of tricks is how I should word that. He's up. No, no, he went for just a body shot or a forearm. I don't know what the hell that was, and he missed. There's a body shot by Powerhouse and a knee and a boot. Another boot, and God's in trouble as Feck hits the floor. Up here comes Feck. He's going to break this up, and there's the breakup by Feck. Powerhouse is going to go after Feck. He's got him. Big DDT. That could be it right there. He's just got to pin him. All for God's hurting. Feck just got DDT. Could this be it? One, two, and a kick out by Feck. Feck is not giving this up for easy, man. He is showing what he's worth in this one. Despite being 0-4 in matches, he's still proven he's a tough son bitch. Look at this shot. Slams Feck down. Now all for God's showboating, and he's going to get caught. What is Powerhouse waiting on? Hit him. Big right hand to the side of the face. Now he's got him. He's got him cradled into a suplex. I thought he was going to go for a pin there, but he didn't. Powerhouse now the only man on his feet. Feck is out of it. All for God is out of it. Here's the cover. One, two, three. And Royal Powerhouse has pinned the Texas heavyweight champion right here today. Whoa. What does that mean for Powerhouse? As he improves his record to 500. 
We already know what Powerhouse is going to say. I pin the Texas Heavyweight Champion. I deserve a title match. You know that's what's going to come out of his face. But does he really deserve it? As all forgot, believe it or not, falls to two and three. Wow. There he is. The new look Royal Powerhouse gets the pin, gets the win. Kudos to Powerhouse here on this one. And ladies and gentlemen, Billy. What the blue hell is Billy? This sort of be interesting. And that kid is yours. I don't even fucking want to know. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what just happened. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. These were the men that were eliminated third in their respective rumbles. Zero points to the man that gets pinned. Three points to the man who's not pinned but loses, and the winner's going to score nine points. And Quaba says, I'm trying not to laugh. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, Quaybas. I don't know. This one here. Michael Carter. Leon Carter. No relation. And the great 
Hogo Yamamoto, a member of the Rising Sun Syndicate. Michael Carter, he and Brandon Ace are Baltimore's finest. Look at the eyes on Carter. Sheesh. Clotheslines him over the top. What the fuck? 
kidding me? He clotheslined over the top rope to the floor and he just did a nip up and now driving right hands to the gut. Yeah, Carter just put himself in prime position for Michael to get... Oh my god. This is insane. Michael Carter's just destroying people here. Now he's moving in on Leon again. Got him up. Bam. Jesus. Leon's taking a hike. He needs a breath. But Togo's got him caught. Nice move there by Yamamoto. The great Togo now. Focusing on Michael Carter. There's a kick to the knee. Oh my god. Shit it with him. One, two, and a kick out by Michael Carter. I don't know why he would have went for a pin that early on him. Oh, kick to the back. Now Leon should attack Michael Carter. Oh, but he's so busy showboating, so Togo kicks him in the face. Man, old man alive. He's caught him set up. Nice neck breaker by Togo. Now Togo pulling Leon to the center of the ring. Oh, and he takes the knee out of Michael Carter, but he doesn't fall. Big right hand by Michael. That for him again. And another huge whipping right here. Duck under. Oh, but he eats that close line. Michael Carter hits the floor. Togo's got a chance here. Oh, but he eats an elbow to the knee. Oh, he's got Togo up. Bam. Goes for the cover. One. And a kick out. Look at Leon. He's got Togo up. He drops him a knee to the damn rib cage. Sheesh.
sit tight for a second. This is uh, Sebastian Sinclair. As you all know, I own the Sinclair Enterprises. My brother Sydney, my twin brother Sydney, show up and act like he owns the company. I own Sinclair Enterprises. And on the 24th, the, my team of three, who I already know who they are, are going to destroy Sydney's team of three. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Because, Sydney, you have no idea what you're getting into. I am Sebastian Sinclair. I own Sinclair Enterprises. You want to come out here and show your face, and the first thing you want to do is mention Mama and Papa? And then just to say, you're going to tell the world what happened to Mama and Papa? I know what happened to them, Sydney. I know what happened to them. You know what happened to them. Don't push my patience. Sinclair Enterprises is mine legally, not yours, not Mama and Papa's, and definitely not anyone else in the family of the Sinclairs. But I want to focus on the 24th when we battle three on three elimination rules. The three men I put together are going to destroy you, Sydney. They're going to destroy you no matter who you've got. Sinclair Enterprises will remain with Sebastian Sinclair and only Sebastian Sinclair forever! That's good timing, now my phone's ringing.
Austin Rose, Vernon Quinn, and Brandon Cuevas. Man pin zero points. The winner, 12 points. The other man involved in the match will get four points. Vernon Queen. The only man clenched currently in the hell in the cell. It's Austin Rose. And last and definitely not least, he is Brandon Cuevas.
Almost had the pin there. Like 
him or not. That was pretty good. Vernon Quinn picked up the pieces. He pins Austin Rose, the man who's clinched. That's freaking crazy. Quinn may have some claim here going forward with a big win right there. He did some kind of corkscrew move and missed. Oh my God. And ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to our next triple threat match. These were the guys eliminated fifth. This is the final of our triple threats on this show. The other five triple threats will come live a little bit later today. As I said, I'll be going live hopefully between 9 and 9.30, no later than 10. We have two tag team matches following this match. But you've got Congo Crush, CJ Mondo, and Thomas N. Townsend. The winner of this match gets 15 points. Five points to the man who doesn't get pinned. And the man who's pinned, of course, scores zero points. Mondo is currently 1-2 and two with 48 points, ranked 14th. Congo Crush was way up in the rankings, but he has now slipped to 19th. He's 1-4 and four with 43 points. And Thomas N. Townsend is 9th, 2-4 with 53 points. 53 points and you score 15 8 and 50 points takes you to 68 which would put him ahead of Tyler Black that could be a huge huge thing right there for TNT there's a lot of more factors involved a lot of more things that need to be considered but if everything falls the way of TNT he could sneak into the top six he very well could with a pinfall here as long as Tyler Black doesn't win the match that he's going to be in with K-Wolf and Brandon Ace. But then again, if he wins, Tyler Black clinches. And he's just going to have to sneak up in there. It's a huge opportunity here for TNT of all these guys. So he's going to have to capitalize here against Mondo and Congo. Wow, that's kind of rhymed. That felt weird coming out of my mouth like that. Mongo and Congo. <laughs> and here comes Congo Crash. Matches along a little bit. Gotta wake my daughter up in about 25 minutes. I'm gonna go to my front door here in just a moment. I'm gonna see if it's freaking snowing. Now let's get it moving. TNT, Congo Crush, CJ Mondo. Let's see what happens here. not snowing yet here in my area it's supposed to have been started already so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes when it starts late it's lingering or if it doesn't come in it won't be as bad so who knows and look at Mondo just chucking TNT Chubs it, wubs it, man. Oof, big clothesline. <clears throat> Damn, Congo Crush. It's a big boy. Chuck 
TNT. TNT flies, big double axe handle, missed. Now Congo goes out, but the two guys get back in. Now it's a chase.
And, well, I think my microphone was off during that whole promo for Corleone because I bumped it. So instead of doing the whole promo again, ladies and gentlemen, the gist is he said the Corleone family will be the greatest empire this company has ever seen. As you all knew, he signed somebody already, and he made the announcement he has signed a second. Those two men will be revealed on the 24th. Who are they? We're going to have to wait and see, and he wants to know who will be the third to join his empire. Yeah, I gotta watch my cord. Sometimes it gets bumped and goes off. I don't know why it does that. It's annoying as hell. Right now it's Adrenaline Rush versus the Purity Express. Come, adrenaline rush. And here comes the Purity Express.
Ah, shit. Be right back.
show later. Don't you guys worry, you're watching this whole place over there. Finch Masters, beautiful belly to back suplex. Gonna roll him over for the cover. Can he get it here? One, two, three, and the Purity Express gets the win here over Adrenaline Rush. Big win for Purity Express. That was a hell of a match between those two teams right there. What I got to see of it. There's Derek Saban, there's Finch Masters. Purity Express. Well done, gentlemen. Now we're going to move on to the final match of the day. It is high tide against the Midnight Freebirds. It's Rufus Brown, Grayson Taylor, Cody Church, and Hunter Hawkins. And that is the names of the four guys from left to right. Rufus Brown, Grayson Taylor, Cody Church, Hunter Hawkins. Come high tide. Grayson Taylor on the left. Rufus Brown on the right. I'm expecting big things out of this tag team. I really am. Hunter Hawkins 
that's Grayson up. Big power bombs countered into a pin. Can he get a win right here? One and a kick out. No. One and no. One. Two. Oh my god, he damn near had it. Hunter Hawkins almost was pinned right there. This Brown comes crashing down on the small of the back of Cody Church. Where's Rufus going? Look at this. Big leg drop. Holy shit, isn't it? Caught by Cody Church. Big DDT. Oof. Big elbow. Grayson Taylor now battling to his feet. There's a super kick by Cody Church. Look at Grayson and Hunter staring at each other. What are they doing? Oh, that's a back fist. Block. Big forearm. They just had a stare down, man. And they decided to whoop each other's ass one more time. Grayson Taylor now rolling around the ring there with Hunter Hawkins as Cody Church is putting the kicks and boots and knees to the face of Rufus Brown. He's got Rufus up on the shoulder. Oh, head first into the corner. Airplane spin on the floor. Big back elbow in the ring. Grayson Taylor now on the bottom rope. Holy shit! Cody Church is going to get himself dizzy, and Rufus, he's been giving him an airplane spin out there on the floor for about 18 days, two, three, oh my god, High Tide got the win, just like that, just like that, are you serious, did that just happen, wow, Holy smokes. I can't believe that just happened. Congratulations going out to Grayson Taylor and Rufus Brown. Big win for High Tide. Here they are. And ladies and gentlemen, if you catch this replay before I go live, I'm going live again between 9 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. That is the plan. We are going to do the remaining triple threat matches. And if you're not familiar with them, it's going to be Bruiser Who, Josh Sniper, and Butcher Bloodlust. It'll be Matsuda Lee, Daniel Dino, and the KO King. We will see Lone Star, Dallas Spivey, and Chris Jordan. We will see Jaden Shadow, Death Row, and Kyle Young. And the main one is Brandon Ace, Tyler Black, and K Wolf. The reason why that's the main one is the winner will clinch a spot in the Hell in a Cell, leaving just four spots open. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching. Replay live, it don't matter. We're out of here. See you in a little bit. Later.